Hello, everyone. I'm Gaulle He. This paper is in collaboration with Agatha Lin and Ria Hu, Jie Yang, and Wu Zhao Gadiraju. The authors yeah, of this paper. We, we sort of lost the audio feed. Could it be? Or... I know. It was just me. Apologies. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Please so go ahead. So I can start? Yes. Sorry. Yes. I'll, I'll be quiet. Hello, everyone. I'm Gaulahi. The paper is in collaboration with Agatha Lin, Andrea Hu, Jie Yang, Ujo Gadiraju. The authors of this paper come from Vivo Information System Lab of TU Delft. Today, I will show you our work on diverse knowledge elicitation using a game with a purpose. In real-world applications, AI systems need plural types of common sense knowledge. For example, to answer this question, we need the knowledge that the restaurant is not a holy place, while synagogue is. While existing common sense knowledge base store relational facts about the world, the discriminative knowledge and negative knowledge, such as restaurant is not a holy place, is typically absent from the existing large-scale knowledge base. In this paper, the collected knowledge tuples fall into generative and discriminative category. Meanwhile, contains positive and negative signs. The generative knowledge describes the real world fact in the format of subject, predicate, object. The sign here indicates whether the attributes hold or not in real world. Another type of knowledge is discriminative knowledge, which describes whether the attribute can discriminate the two concepts. The sign then indicates whether the two concepts can be discriminated with such attributes. For example, here, fish and octopus can be discriminated with attributes as a fins, while by comparison, human and lion are both mammals, so we can't discriminate them with the attribute is a mammal. Compton's knowledge has renewed usage in the context of artificial intelligence such as improving neural symbolic AI and debugging machine learning models. We also have another paper about machine learning debugging presented in the knowledge track this afternoon. In these usages, we need plural types of knowledge such as negative and discriminative knowledge, which are typically absent from existing knowledge base. With the recent trends in human computation, there are new opportunities to collect such knowledge at scale. Game with a purpose is an effective and enjoyable approach to collect conscious knowledge from human players. However, little is currently understood about the types of knowledge that can be gathered using existing knowledge elicitation methods. Moreover, these methods may fail short of meeting the evolving requirements of downstream AI tasks. Inspired by the famous game, Guess Who, we developed a novel game with a purpose, find it out to elicit different types of knowledge from human players through easily configurable game mechanics. First, I will show you our approach, find it out about the game procedure and how we collect knowledge from this game. In this game, we first provide a detailed tutorial about the game, including rules and design features to all participants. Find it out is a two player competitive game the objective of this game for each player is to guess a opponent's target card. Each player ha has a target card, which is at the top middle part of his interface. In this case, junk is Gaulle's target card. To guess the opponent's target card, each turn, one player asks questions based on provided relational templates. In this slide, Gaulle plays the role asker. In our game, we provide eight relation-based templates, which can be found in the bottom part of this slide. All relations in Find It Out are selected from concept nets. With the selected templates, Gawler creates a question by inputting free text. Here, he creates a question, is your card an object? After Gawler submits the question, the opponent, Agatha, will receive the question. As this slide shows, Agatha will respond to the question, is your card an object according to her own target card garage? 
we have three options, yes, no, and maybe, which correspond to the positive, negative, and uncertain answers. If the reply feels that the question is not clear to answer, she can also respond with unclear, and then the asker needs to rephrase his question. After opponent sent back the answer, asker can discard some candidate concepts with flipping the card. Like the garage and genre are flipped, it means that uh, the asker think it does it's not uh, it not fulfill the question answer pairs from this term. Then he can choose enter or guess. If he choose enter, Gaul and Agatha will switch their rules and take another turn. Now it's Agatha's turn to ask questions and reduce candidates in the game board. After a few rounds, the asker can make a guess to end the game. If he correctly gets the opponent's target card, he will win the game. Meanwhile, a wrong guess leads to the failure. In this slide, Gawler wins the game and have an interaction history from his side. If the opponent lies during the game, he can report it. To guarantee the quality of collective commons knowledge, we have following feature designs. First, we provide varying game difficulties through the number and types of cards in game board. In our experience, the board which contain abstract concepts like fun, happiness, becomes more challenging compared to game board composed of concretely daily items. To ensure both players have equal chance to win, if the opponent make a correct guess, player can still make a guess and have the chance to win and get bonus from our study. Just as we observed in panel study, some players may cheat by misleading opponents with responding wrong answers or uh, no, no sense answers. After the game, each player can find such cheating behaviors with reporting mistakes. To help players understand each concept, we provide definitions about each concept from coordinates when they hang their mouse on each card. We also employ table words to ensure that the questions asked by the players are not too simple and allow to extract useful knowledge. We use this slide to illustrate the knowledge collection from player behaviors. Given the question, is your card an object? And answer no. The asker flips the card Joiner, it means that joiner is an object. Meanwhile, the card garage is reserved on flipped. It indicates garage is not an object. With the card flipped and unflipped in the center, we can obtain discriminating knowledge. As joiner and television are both flipped in this term, they can't be, disti they can't be distinguished with the rational properties is an object. It's the same for garage and attic, which remained unflipped in this term. With the same behaviors in this term, we construct the negative discriminative knowledge. But when we consider the journal, which is flipped this term, and the garage, which keeps unflipped, we can draw positive discriminative knowledge, as journal and garage can be discriminated with the relational properties is an object. In this way, we get all four types of knowledge, positive, negative, generative, and discriminative from our game. Then let's move to the experimental evaluation about collecting knowledge. In our experiments, you, we evaluate the knowledge collection process and the quality of collected knowledge tuples. All players are cloud workers held from prolific platform. The game boards are generated from two benchmarks of different tasks, namely discriminative attributes and the common sense question answering. For the qualitative assessment, the authors followed an iterative coding process and discussed for the standard of each dimension to reach a consensus. In our experiment, we have 255 games played for discriminative attribute datasets, which collected around 75,000 knowledge tuples, while 242 games played for common sense question answering datasets which collected around 86,000 knowledge tuples. On average, easy games lasted around six minutes and the players spend around four turns for each easy game. 
Similarly, difficult games lasted 60.5 minutes and players spent around six turns for each difficult game. On average, the throughput is 13.9 tuples per minute per game for find it out, which is 10 times more than existing methods verbosity. We also observe that difficult games correspond to a higher utility for the discriminative attribute datasets, while easy games correspond to a higher utility for the common question answering task. For more details about the knowledge collection evaluation, please refer to our paper. Based on our findings from player experience questionnaire, the main functionalities of Find It Out were well understood and appreciated by players. On average, players rated the functional consequence, which indicates the immediate experience as a direct result of game design choice, with about one on a scale of minus three to three. This highly rated functional sequence translated into highly rated psychosocial consequence as well, with an average rating per dimension always above zero. This shows that Find It Out was enjoyed by players, picked their curiosity by prompting them to think of the topics they probably don't typically think of. To assess the quality of collecting knowledge tuples, we defined seven dimensions, which fall into the category of correctness and diversity. Zoom into every dimension, we find that most generative tuples collected are meaningful, correct, and unbiased. And we also find the collected knowledge tuples have a relatively high tacit and specific knowledge, but also a small ratio of typical knowledge. These findings confirm that find it out allow for externalizing the tacit knowledge that is typically not found in existing knowledge base. To assess the usefulness of knowledge collected for discriminative attribute datasets, we calculated the coverage of reference triples to create the game boards. In our experiment, 28.8% of triples are covered. Meanwhile, all potential concept pairs of the discriminative attribute datasets are covered, which goes beyond the scope of original datasets. For the common sense question answering datasets, we manually annotated the relevance and usefulness for each question. For each question, we retrieved top five relevant knowledge tuples generated with semantic similarity. The results show that more than half of choice in each question can find relevant knowledge tuples, and around 10% choice can find useful knowledge tuples, which can directly confirm the answer or discard a distraction term. In conclusion, Mainly, this work have following contributions. First, we designed a novel configurable game with a purpose find it out, which can collect broad common sense knowledge at scale. Secondly, we provide a structured set of dimensions for knowledge characterization. Thirdly, we conduct an empirical study about the performance of find it out based on cloud workers. Furthermore, we conduct qualitative study of collecting knowledge tuples and a quantitative study of the efficiency of knowledge collection process. In the future, we will also consider, first, improve the quality of collecting knowledge with post-processing, such as redundancy, and second, the generation of game boards largely affect their collecting knowledge. We will also explore how to generate more meaningful game boards based on the efficiency, quality, and the player experience. We may also explore use the plural knowledge tuples collected from Find It Out on downstream AI tasks. Thanks for your time and listening. For more details about our game Find It Out, you can refer to our paper. Meanwhile, our demo and code is available online. Um, does anyone have any questions? Because um, I haven't seen anything coming through in the chat, um, but you could also put your video up if you want. Alex, I don't know if you're trying to say something or if you're just uh, getting ready. <laughs> um, okay, let me ask you a few things because this is very interesting work, and 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 I I, I used to do uh, quite a bit of work on 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 GWAP for 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 a while. So, um, well, how did you recruit the players? Uh, so 
plans. No, no. How did you recruit the players? Oh, uh, actually, uh, we recruit the players from prolific platform and uh, say each each game we need to involve two players matched in a game and play it. And for the for procedure, we ask each players must play say three easy games and two difficult games. So from each player, we obtain five game. Yeah, five game rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, why prolific? Uh, actually, uh, it's according to say my. Uh, collaborators experience they find that the pre prolific workers say are more pay more attention to the user study and they work well so we choose this platform mm -hmm. interesting and why didn't you just run the task on prolific rather than putting all these resources into gamifying this the the, the task and and and, and design it um in that way yeah, actually, uh, it's also a motivation from our side because we find, say, like we know that traditional, say, knowledge elicitation is from maybe, say, provide text. And we ask, say, cloud workers maybe uh, to confirm or extract knowledge from this text. But uh -huh. actually, such tasks we think, say, it's maybe, say, labor intensive and also. Yeah, but do you have any proof for that? Do you have any proof for that that is labor intensive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, here we didn't compare with the traditional, say, uh, annotation mode. We only compare with some game with a purpose approach. Here, I think it's also a reason that we think we should provide a enjoyable uh, procedure to obtain such knowledge. And actually, mm -hmm. we find that in this competitive game and with the game boards, the players enjoy the game. Meanwhile, uh, they provide, uh, say, a very okay. good efficiency in generating this knowledge. Okay, so I'm going to pick a question from the chat and then we're going to have to move on. Thank you. Uh, so Jerome is asking, in what sense can it be said that diverse knowledge is collected? Is it only the discriminative negative dimension or something else? You could comment yeah. on that and then we will yeah. move on. Yeah, actually we provide, say, different dimensions in qualitative evaluation about the collecting knowledge tuples. The correctness, it has validity, truth, and meanings. And the diversity, we have both typicality, specificity, and testiness. We try to evaluate based on these dimensions. And finally, we find that in our appendix, we find most, say, collecting knowledge tuples are meaningful and are actually also, say, from each dimensions, such as specific ones, typical ones, we also find there is some, say, why, uh, there has some wiring properties from the collecting knowledge. And also mm -hmm. the tested ones, we find this knowledge, many of the collecting knowledge tuples may be absent from existing knowledge base. So in this definition, combined with the different structures of generative, uh, discriminative, positive, negative. So in this sense, we define it as plural knowledge. 